Hey folks, Parkera here and welcome to episode 9. So today we're going to play uh, Sten Hausmer in the league, but as you can see we're going to first cover off where we left you after we faced and beat Celtic. So, we then hosted Peterhead and nice 2-0 win there. Uh, Scott Lockhead and Aaron uh, Murrell on the score sheets. We then travelled to Berwick. 6-2 thrashing. What a game. Murrell goal. Ward a goal. Cuddles a goal. Boyle goal. Higgins goal. Grant goal. Ah, really, really good thumping there. Then we travelled to, at the same this time, uh, Albion, who were second going into this game. I expected a tough game. Uh, and, well, to be honest with you, it was 2-0 up. Half time, they pull one back, and then we, in the 71st minute, Gary Fraser was able to get the, guarantee the win there. So, again, a good hard fought win there against second placed, and the team are still second. East Fife, who had come down and we had beaten earlier in the season, uh, they well, it was a tougher game than it is. Uh, we had two players sent off, and really. It was 2-0 uh, for a majority of the game, and they've pulled back at that penalty in the 90th plus five minutes. So really, uh, yeah, 2-1. It should have been a 2-0 win. Two sending offs, not the best. I did appeal both sending offs, but as you get the typical FABS, they just say, oh, no, no, they're not going to overturn it, and then you can't appeal. We then went back into the Iron Brew, had a few brews against Motherwell Reserves, and came out 3-1. Oh, this was another good game here against a reserve squad. Uh, Cuddles with the goal and Lockheed a penalty and again another goal in the 79th minute, taking out the win 3-1 there. We then had a Scottish Cup tie against Gretna, 2008. Okay, uh, And as this team was completely and utterly resolved around basically reserves and under-18 players, um, we did have some main guys on the bench. And we still pulled away with a 6-1 win here. Doo -doo -doo. Sorry, let's just... Yep, my transfer special rendering down, baby. All right, so yeah, uh, Gary Fraser with a goal in the first minute, then Zach in the 14th, Aaron with a double 19th and 83rd, Grant 59th, and Evan Colasso in the 89th minute. And they only were able to uh, score that 7th minute goal. It was one all for a minute, and I thought, huh? But then, yeah, we fired up and just absolutely ran over them. We then had a week off, so I arranged a friendly. Again, pretty much a, a, a rotated squad. And we pulled away a 7-4 there. Doesn't really make difference, but you can have a look there. I'll leave it there so you can have a nosy at the uh, scores. Injuries have been a bit of a pain, but we kind of, luckily, we're minor ones, like one to two days, three to four days sort of thing. Uh, we then travel, um, hosted Queen's Park. Again, now this is a team where we drew two all against earlier on in the season, so it was good to come away with a 3-0 win here. Uh, Higgins, McStay, and Lockhead in the goals. We then travelled to Algon and came away with a hard-fought 3-2 win. They had a player sent off in the 79th minute. Um, it was closer, really, than the score reflects. We did deserve to win this with Boyle's 10th minute goal and Zach's 19th and 50th minute goal. Uh, they did pull one back, obviously, in the 83rd minute to make it two goals there for them. But really, yeah, it was a tough game. We did, I mean, we got the goals early on, kind of rested, and then the next goal in the 50th. So, yeah, anything could have gone there. Then we hosted in the Ironbrew Cup quarterfinals, so we never, we, this is as high as we've got. We, we drew Rafe. And uh, I went for my secondary tactic he here, which is kind of more of a defensive one, uh, with when we play with the defensive midfield sort of thing. We did change it up at half time, and that's kind of why we pulled the two goals back. I'm pleased with the lads. I let them know that I was pretty happy with the result, considering 3-2 uh, win. I mean, if you look at their, their winning goal was in the 93rd minute, so we were that close to a draw which would have been either a replay or penalties, I believe, in this competition. You'd have to let me know and enlighten me, will you, lads? But Grant on the score sheet with a penalty from Lockheed in the 77th minute. A, a good result. I'm happy with that loss. Uh, then we went to Falkirk. Falkirk and came away with a 3-2 win. So, 
Yeah, as you'll see here, it was Depo for scored straight away for them, and then we instantly from the kickoff, Jack Boyle's like, uh, "Bugger you, mate! This is like a FIFA goal! Bang, shebang, one all!" It, you know, it was like yes, and then 32nd minute they came back, and it was two for them, and then a penalty was given to Lockheed. We had in the second half, but we were putting a lot of pressure on these guys. We had, I think, we had some better attacking movements. Their goal, especially their second goal, really was a set piecer. Uh, and we were able to get a penalty by Lockheed in the 56, which gave us the you know the two wall. And then Jack Boyle, 95th minute winner. Ooh, winner, winner, chicken dinner! And we went through. And the draw is, and I'll let you know the draw here. The draw is here against Hamilton. And I am going to live com this match. We are facing Premiership team hamilton at hamilton so we're going to get a good payday here on this and that's something we're going to look forward to but right now today ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages we take on stenhouse Moor in the league two and you will see there they are seventh we are first we've got a good healthy lead we're doing pretty well in the league things are looking up we have we are improvement so i'm excited for this so without further ado because I've been jibbering and jabbering, dabbering and cobbering, whatever that means. Let's kick into the game, shall we? Load it up, submit the team sheets, get in, and there's the squads. We have Mia and Goal, Miller and Maggot, fullbacks, Dunlop and Kogel in the middle, Cuddles and Fraser. Not defensive midfields, I don't know, and I've noticed that a lot of guys... When you press the you know, the enter the game, they kind of push these two guys down further. I don't know why. But anyway, and we've got Ward, Boyle, and um, Zach Albazudi on the right with Higgins up front into the dressing room now. Let's team talk. We're going to go out there and give... Um, we actually know well, you know. Let's go. I'm going to put them... Keep our run going, boys. Okay. I'm going to go defense. I'm expecting solid work out of you guys out there. Let's kick into it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and go on. Now, if this is right, this video is coming out on Monday. Uh, this is currently recording day Thursday. Like I mentioned, I think I have mentioned, I am planning to get ahead, mainly because December is going to be very busy for me personally, and it's a funny season, you know, for, for Xmas and all that rubbish. So... Yeah, you know, things going on and stuff. So I'm trying to get a little bit of a head. I still will be able to uh, comment and everything reply to your comments. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how we go. But uh, so this will be out Monday. And hopefully by then... Boy, oh, go! La, 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 What a freaking goal. woo hoo, hoo Beautiful there, Higgs. Straight to boil. Cuddles. Massive cuddle hit. Higgy all by himself. Oh, nicely done. And Boyle's just slots at home first time around. So, we are going to get ahead. Yeah. And I'm going to, you know, um, you'll probably note it already. I'm not playing as many games this season so far. And I'm just trying to get through the second season as I can. Uh, mainly for my own mentality to get out of this league, to be perfectly honest with you guys. But yeah, that's how we're going. So I will be getting ahead. This is Monday's video, like I said. Um, and hopefully, if I've done things right, you should have a transfer special that's come out uh, on the weekend. Yeah. Oh, bogger. That was, a, was another concede. We are conceding goals from set pieces more than anything from open play. We are looking at working on that, but obviously it's taking a while. And he was completely... Could have done better. There was no one putting pressure on there. And we just... I want to just put a shout out here. Let's, go, let's demand some more from you guys. Especially you defenders. Fraser's got the ball now. See, because I was jibber-jabbering about other crap, you see. Getting ahead and stuff. And it's like, hey, pay attention to what's going on. <whistles> getting caught out a bit at the back there, guys. Yeah, man, come on. We're going to dab a dab a. Let's hit the early crosses. He's getting too much space. All right, let's go, baby. Let's do it, do it. We should be doing better than this, lads. You're going to get a little bollocking at half time. 
Get out my red and spoon and give you all a good frickin' spunking. We're gonna go assertive. Far from pleased. Oh, would have liked to see more of a response. Get into it, second half. Yes, no mucking around. Higgin. To cuddles. Goes long. Ward just gives up the chase. Fair enough, cop. Yeah, Ward's on loan to us. We haven't been playing him too much, and I've had a few couple of times when um, the manager, his manager, said, Oi, you're supposed to be a first teamer. Crosses the ball. Cuddles. Come on, take a shot, Cuddles. Ooh, a lucky laddie. And we are going to be making some changes, actually. You know what? I'm going to make the changes now. You are going back to where you belong, and you are going to be in forward attack. We are bringing on Campbell. It's been a long time since you've seen Kieran Campbell. And uh, he's come back from injury. We're giving them that just half the time. We're going to put him on as a supporter. And we, yeah, so we'll see how we go. Let's make that change. He's come back from a long, long, long injury. Um, and he's played about 45 minutes for the reserves and about 20 minutes for the under under 18s and so i'm gonna give him first go out here about 30 odd minutes in the top team to see if we can how he does with that what are we gonna do long way yeah okay what do you want me to do yeah i know wake the world into the box okay i'll try to shut up we are positive here we are going to shout we are going fraser looks exhausted well tough titties demand some more Okay, let's have a look at you, Fraser. You're looking tired, preppy baby. 62%. You're not playing the best. Um. Oh, all right then. I'll bring on. No, we're not going to bring cuddles, and that's going to go and show me his profile. We'll go and bring on la 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 Chris McStay as the ball-winning midfielder. We'll make that change. Start off, baby. One all will be a bit of a disappointment here to me. Uh, oh, Maggot's looking naked as well. He's looking a bit naked. 6.4. Uh, well, we're going to finish off the game. So let's just blah, 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 finish it off. Uh-oh. Don't do this to me. No. Clear the freaking ball. That's it. The wrestle's gone. Um, You know, I am going to let them know. I'm assertively not good enough we should have won that match click the bar hit space go into space go through see what's next so on the league table that's our catch-up game nice handy 10 point lead but a win would have been a little bit better so i'm gonna go through the schedule quickly again like i mentioned to you definitely coming back from hamilton and then we'll probably be coming back for a game in between i'm thinking of albion who are currently second depending on the situation where they are in the league at the same at the time i may um it may be a different team but at this stage i'm pretty sure it's going to be albion you'll find out next time which will be wednesday's video which may very well be recorded over in the weekend but guys i want to thank you so much for coming and enjoying this again thank you for all the subs and the new subs old subs everyone and all your support it's really been awesome and i you know just really helps a heck of a lot and um i can't really say much more so if you enjoy this hit that like button if you're new subscribe guys and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos i am pakira Thank you for being here today. Over and out. Kia kaha. Up the bully wee.